Hello, good day, bring a trailer community. Uh, my name is Steve Serio. I'm the owner of Bond Group here in Waltham, Massachusetts, offering you a really, really, really interesting thing this time around on BAT. Behind me is a slot mods, one thirty second scale slot track, and it is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It lived here, uh, not far from our business, for about the last 10 years in a collection of automobiles, and it was really a showcase, showcase piece uh, in this gentleman's collection. 917 replica from Le Mans, uh, the Steve McQueen Le Mans, and it's a real homage to the movie, the track, the racing, the automobiles, all the drivers. It is as cool a thing as I think you'll see on here. Uh, slot mods made in Michigan by a fellow whose name is Dave Beatty. He's made bespoke tracks for Bobby Rahal, uh, Derek Hill, I have a cheat sheet here, Zach Brown and Jim Farley, who I almost forgot. So you're dealing with some pretty good captains of industry and important people in the automotive world who appreciate really cool automobilia. If you take a good long look at this, and I hope you watch the video of the camera, uh, the GoPro on the car going around the track, it really brings you back to Le Mans. It's a cool thing to sit down, uh, have a cocktail, bring a cigar, and just play with these old style analog switches. I mean, nothing about this is modern. Nothing about it is uh, remote control. It is old school, small kid, Christmas morning wonder. I love it. I wish I had the space for it. Um, looking at the cars that are on there, because it is an homage to Le Mans in total, uh, we've got everything from the GT40 with the roof cut off, uh, being used as the camera car, uh, the Gulf Porsche 917s, the winning car, the 917K of Herman and Atwood, uh, a Ferrari 512, Cota Lunga, and a Lola T70, just to name a few of them. So I hope you look at all the pictures we've done, really get into this and look at all the detailing. Um, I don't know the exact hours, you'd have to ask the folks at Slot Mods, but is it a thousand hours to do one of these? Is it 2,000 hours? It's a lot of hours, you don't have the time for it. Let's just buy it the way that it is, clamshell it down when you're not uh, using it, open it up when friends, uh, relatives, children walk in the room, and you'll be the hit of the garage. This precisely molded 917 opens like a clamshell at the touch of a hidden button to reveal the track within. The amazing, highly detailed signage is illuminated. I love looking at it at night. We've got working street lights, all kinds of lights and signs. It's very cool. Some of the features include the iconic Esso oil drop man, a Marshall sign, a martini barn, and of course, the Dunlop Tire Bridge. Painted in the same color scheme and the number 20 uh, as McQueen's car in the movie, the 917 here has real race-worn GT prototype tires on aluminum three-piece rims. It's got working headlights and taillights. And I'm sure you're wondering, how the hell am I gonna get this home if it interests me? Well, because it's the size of a 917, which is a relatively small car compared to a lot of things transporters take today. It is on rollers. Those are a uh, perfect setup for going on your intercity truck or whatever van line you'd like to use. It's a real easy thing to transport. We moved it here in a single car carrier. It's, it's easy, folks. Dave Beatty's tracks are in private homes, really great ultimate garages, and they're used at commercial trade shows. These things are very well known all over North America. Now here's the good news. Let's face it. I know I'll never be able to afford a real 917 and you won't either probably, except for the 3% or 2% or 1 1 10th of 1% of all the bidders here on Bring a Trailer, but you can afford this. Uh, it's not inexpensive, but it's a great way to have a 917 in your garage. Happy bidding everybody.